Hello, hello, my inky friends. Welcome back. I am so excited to do the flip through with you today, but it's my birthday today and I have a present here. But guess what? This present isn't for me. It's a present for you. So stick around to the end till I reveal what is inside. So let's jump into our flip through here. This was the little journal that I created for Inkvent. It's got a little leather cover, and then I did um, just some fun scrapbook paper on the inside. Um, I bound the book by hand as well. It's got a little Merry Christmas page there. Um, and then I also deckled the edges. So I just took, I don't have a special deckler, so I just took scissors and I ran it around the edges of the paper because I love that roughed edge look. Um, and then I used also the Fabriano Aqua, Aquarello, I can never say that right, uh, watercolor paper. 140 pounds. So this was day one, Seize the Night. And this was a beautiful purple and we had that um, kind of a greenish gold sheen. Um, and it played out really pretty in the trees. And then you can see that in the swatch there as well. So that was lots of fun. And day two was Garland, which was this cool teal and it had glitter and the sheening. And it just turned out really magical. I love how um, that background was created. Now, ash, oh my gosh, hot mess. But I really would love to paint with this color again now that I kind of feel a little more comfortable with how I was doing my process because we've got those blues in there and then some of those peachy tones, which would be really fun to um, pull out now that I'm a lot more comfortable um, with the painting process. Then we had Tempest. Uh, and I loved being able to pull out those colors. We had a lot of those kind of deeper sort of grayish purples and then uh, bits of the green. And that was really neat uh, to pull that out. And then also the kind of the, the glitter in the moon and the trees. And Harmony was a lovely one to be able to pull out those blues around the edging of the ink um, and some of the pinks there really made for those gorgeous Purple Mountains Majesty. So I love actually have that one in an ink pen. Now this, hello, was one of my absolute pages from uh, the journey. Like, oh, just so much of this came together. The lighting in the sky, the you have that shimmer, there's the green sheen and then also that blue shimmer. And then um, you can even see it in the writing. Like it's such a beautiful ink. Yeah, I loved this one. This, this, this one turned out so good. Candlelight was a nice, easy kind of yellow orange. And it was really cool to kind of pull out those darker shading colors around the outside. Really basic, but uh, lots of fun to play with. And this one, oh my gosh, I forgot to write the title of it. Um, <laughs> anyways, you can go back and watch the video. I can't even think of what the name of it is right now, but the purplish color was really beautiful. Um, it was a standard ink. And yeah, I can't believe I forgot to go back and do that. But Storm was a lot of fun. You've got that silver shimmer in the water, which really made it look like the moonlight was glistening. And we have those pinks and the purples in the sky, uh, which just was a perfect sky color. I loved that. Peach Punch. Now, like for a standard color, it was pretty basic, but we were able to really get that almost a reddish orange down in that bottom and then all of the shading all the way up to the top where it was really, really light. So just being able to push the colors and see like how dark or how light I could get them uh, was a very fun exploration for me. I really enjoyed that. Uh, party time. Now this was like, you know, my sons called it um, sparkling flames <laughs> because it looked like purple flames but the the sheen or the glitter on it was just so overpowering it was almost kind of hard to paint with but I did love the color itself and you can really see that shimmer in the writing so that's kind of a fun one to play with stargazer again another cool one it was a um, super sheener and I think did it have mica too but you could really see the sheening around the edges. And I worked this one really hard to make sure there was no sparkle on the page, oddly. Um, but I like how it turned out having, again, those layers with some of the blues and the greens. Ruby blues, again, more blues. This was just a super sheener. And right along that edge there, I really worked to pull out that sheen and then just kind of leave the sky plain with some texture from the paper towel for the clouds. Um, yeah, so we had so much blue this ink vent. We've got Red Robin, which was sort of like our um, ma macro ranuncula. It didn't have any sheening, but it was a really, a really dark shading around the outside. So it was just kind of fun to pull again with that one, just kind of see how deep I could get those colors. Nightshade was a beautiful bluish purple and oh, the shadow work we were able to get done. And then that texture we created with the 
Um, the paper towel just was a really cool kind of a rock texturing. This is my, like another one of my favorite love, love, love pages. This one came together so beautifully and just really simple, classic, but oh, the shading. And then we've got like these speckles of the clouds in the background. And this is where the chromatography really comes in. So we see that kind of grayish strip on the bottom and then see where I was able to pull that out in the painting. And then we've got the sparkle in the trees and just kind of that dry brushing that we did. That one just turned out so beautifully. I was happy with that. And then of course, the hot mess. Oh my gosh. Remember I tried to do the bubbles on top of this? I don't know what I was thinking. Um, <laughs> it does have a bit of a sheen there, even though I believe it was a standard ink, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, it just bled through. It was a big old mess, but that was part of the whole exploration was just to see how far I could push it. And now I know that I can push it pretty far before the ink starts to bleed through the page, which created our really awesome Rorschachs here. Sort of looks like it's like maybe a fish face or like me making a fist here like I'm talking with my hand I don't I don't know I would love to know what you guys think this looks like down in the description box below so leave me a comment and tell me what you think it is that might be uh, kind of fun for us all to explore and see what shapes we see within these ink blots Sub-Zero was another beautiful one kind of like that light turquoisey uh, teal color and the shimmer and I was able to really get that shimmer in the layers and then within the trees so it almost looked like an icy landscape and then some texturing in the sky. So this was a real fun one uh, to play with. And then the dip pen, I kind of created those little plant looking brush marks down below and that was lots of fun. Now Festive Joy was a super fun exploration. See, even though it's not a sheener, we get that kind of goldish sheen when it's like put really thick onto the paper. And then remember we have our little ghosted figure there. Oh, that was, seriously, this page was so fun to kind of create that mystical, sort of uh, feel and then also to be able to pull out some of those purples and the pinks there at the top we can see those within the painting as well so that one turned out lots of fun and then pink ice is the collaboration oops I had a little bit of tape there for some reason but this is the collaboration I did with the uh, mixed media art school and we did some ink stamping so if you're interested uh, to see that one, you can check the playlist that I have linked at the end and down below. But it was really cool to get just the hint of shimmer on the very darkest parts of the pink and then kind of created that lighter circle in the bottom. So you can see it kind of there and then in the uh, stamping area, it was really thick. So it created that shimmer as well. Now, Brandy Snap was another one of my favorites. It's so basic, just like a little bit of that... Uh, gray color there. This is again where the chromatography comes in and you can really pull out that kind of grayish color in the background and then use, see we've got like the lightest all the way to the darkest and that's why I like having these swatch strips on the page next to it because you can really see how the swatching pulls into the painting. So we have it going dark at the top there and then lighter, lighter, lighter as it pulls down and then the really cool effect in the sky so uh, again I'm not sure if I would write with this one on the daily but painting with it was really a joy and then black ivy which I love this ink I have it currently inked in my Benu mistletoe pen and I have written with it every single day um, that super super red sheen color was just beautiful and then there's more of that circles I've noticed this big circular theme within the entire um, ink vent for myself and I love when I have kind of that theme that goes through the whole journey. It really makes this like an entire, like a cohesive journal piece. So you can see that theme kind of running through it. And yeah, I just, you can see that sheen in the writing. And oh, I just, I'm, I love this ink. This is definitely one that I would probably get a full bottle of. And then we had Wonderland, which is so bright. I don't think that the camera actually captures just how vibrant this orangey color is it's almost like fluorescent so you can see how it gets like really light and then again we can get really dark with the shades as we layer up that ink and then that's you know we created that like the really dark parts there along the edges of uh, the different layers of sand dunes I guess we'll call them um, and then the light uh, behind it just really gives it the depth of of the piece and I love that and then we had Yuletide for Christmas Eve and we created that kind of moon color and this has a bit of a sheen there too even though it is a standard ink but again when you swatch on those um, 
specialty papers, it kind of holds them the ink there for it to get that sheen color. And then we've got the gray there again on the chromatography that we were able to pull into the clouds or like pull away from the clouds. And so that was really cool to explore. There's a lot of push and pull within this piece here, just going back and forth, lighter, darker, lighter, darker. And then finally, all the best. It was a super shimmer and a super sheener. And we just got a little mountain all iced up with snow. And then you've got that kind of green there. Um, and the just, I, it, was, it was really cool to play with. And, you know, I didn't get as much of the reds. There's a couple of them peeking out within the mountain here, like those little bits right there. You could kind of see the red. But for the most part, it really was kind of that... Uh, magenta you know sort of winish color and then here you can see I'm trying to show that um, the sheening there the green sheening gave a cool effect like there was a grassy area of the mountain on the shadowed side so that was fun I have some extra pages here and I'm thinking I might journal about my process so you know when I go back and look through it I'll kind of remember oh yeah this is what that was about but um, again I am so happy that I was able to accomplish this. Like 25 days of videos is so much work, but I loved every minute of it and I got to spend it all with you, which made it even more fun. And if you're jumping into this and you'd wanna watch all the videos, I have created a playlist. I'll link down in the description box below, but I really wanna take a moment to thank all of you guys uh, for all of the support, encouragement, and love by giving you a little gift. So it's my birthday, but I like to give gifts. So here is our little gift. Now let's open it up and see what's inside. Take off the lid. Ink. So I've decided to gift. I've given two milliliters, which is a standard ink sample size of every single color that was in the ink event calendar. So that is 25 ink samples of color that you could win. I'm just going through all of them here. So many of them. This is super exciting. Um, and then I have, this is how I store my ink samples. And so I am going to give you this cool container and it contains all 25 of the ink vent samples. I've gone ahead and put little swatches on the top of each one so it's easy for you to see and then also labeled them as well. Diamine and then the color of the ink. So you can win that, but of course, it's not fun to just get ink samples. So what else am I going to throw in? Well, how about a fun ink pet? I have a couple of these in different colors and I love them so much. And the story behind these is absolutely amazing. So we have these super cute 3D printed little octopuses. And he's saying hi, or octopi, I guess. Um, but this is a ink sample holder and it is created by this cutie little patootie, seven-year-old Calvin, and he has a handwritten little thank you note in there. Um, so yep, here is an ink pet, and what this does is it holds your ink sample so it doesn't roll around on your table, and boop, there we go. So it makes it easier for dipping um, when you have your dip pen. And speaking of dip pen, I'm also gonna give away a blue fancy moon man dip pen. So we've got, um, it comes with another nib and then also a converter, but here, let me open this up for you. So it's a beautiful blue and there is the dip nib. And it's got a cool shimmer on it. I love this. I almost wanted to keep it for myself, but you know. So it has a regular nib and then also a converter. So if you wanted to add that converter if, and you're new to fountain pens, you just push that into the base and that's gonna suck up your ink you can put your ink in there. And there's tons of videos on how to ink up a pen. And then all you have to do is pull that out and then push in the metal nib in order to use that converter. Otherwise, you can just use it as a dip pen right into um, your ink samples. But oh, I'm so excited. So thank you guys again. I'm just gonna like enjoy the shimmer of the glass pen. <laughs> oh, I love me some shimmer. Okay, now you're probably asking yourself, all right, Aaron, you've showed us the goods and now how can we win them? So there's only three things that you're gonna have to do. And number one, you have to be sure you're subscribed to my channel, like this video, and also leave a comment down below. Super easy, right? You're already here, no big deal. All right, after you've done this, you need to follow into step number two. Now step two is head on over to Instagram. The link is down in the description box below. Follow me over there, like the post, and leave a comment. All right. 
That's super easy. And the last one, number three, give yourself a big hug. Why is that? Because you deserve it. I am so grateful to have you along this journey. And that is like me hugging you energetically. There we go. I'll be announcing the winner on January 11th, both here on YouTube and also over on Instagram. Thank you guys so very much again for following on this ink journey. There's going to be a lot more ink and inkscapades in this year. So stay tuned and thank you again. Good luck to all of you. Thanks for watching. And until next time, happy creating.